Okay, I'm here at my mother's house today because it's raining cats and dogs outside, which is really unusual for us in California. Um, there wasn't enough space in my tiny little beach cottage to do everything I wanted to do today. I wanted to share my love of paper. Paper is my favorite art medium, especially like decoupage. This mannequin was one of my first decoupage projects. Love everything about decoupage and I love paper mache. And maybe it's fallen a little out of favor because it's kind of a basic old fashioned technique, but I'll tell you, I made this nightstand slash stool for my little niece's room. It had a magical forest theme. So I made this faux bois stool. It was a nightstand in her room and it is light. It is durable. It's doesn't chip. It doesn't nick. It's really, really, and it's so strong. You really can sit on it. So happy with this stool after so many years. This stool is probably a good, I would say nine years old, and it's all paper mache with a little bit of added glue into the paper mache mix and cardboard, and that's it. I really wanted to show you how to make a small nightstand slash cocktail table that can tuck into those little corners of the room. This time I was inspired by those beautifully woven sisal rattan side tables and I love the faux drape that they've woven in the bottom of the table. The real authentic designer ones uh, range from a thousand to two thousand dollars. So I'm gonna try, if I've ever done it, I'm gonna try to create my version of it. But the first step is to create a paper mache base for that table. We're gonna cover it entirely with raffia fabric. So that will mimic that beautiful woven feel of those more expensive designer tables. What you're gonna need for this project is pretty simple. You're gonna to go to your home improvement store and go to the cement aisle. You're gonna find these little cement tube forms they use to pour cement. It comes in different diameters. The one that you're gonna look for is one that's about 12 inches in diameter. In order to create that faux tablecloth scallop draped look, I am going to use four inch mailing tubes. They're four inch in diameter. And I'm gonna cut them in half and then use half of the tube to create the scalloped edge at the bottom of the table. So I think that that's gonna work out. I like using pre-made paper mache pulp. It has a little bit of a more consistent texture. It's not so lumpy. All right, let's give this a whirl. Now the first step is to get the cardboard armature or base ready for the paper mache. Cut the large cement tube to 20 inches tall. Cut round pieces of cardboard to cover the top and bottom of the base. Then you're gonna cut the white nail tube to 13 inch tall pieces. Cut those pieces in half lengthwise. So you'll need a total of six pieces of the nail tube to fit perfectly around the cardboard base. Make sure each piece aligns with the bottom of the cement tube. Then press the top of your scallop with your palm and tape it down. There will be some flaring on the sides, which is what we want, and just tape up those gaps with masking tape. You will use masking tape to attach everything. Paper mache adheres really well to masking tape, so that's the preferred method. So for my paper mache mixture, I am going to use four cups of hot tap water. I've been playing around with the proportions and what's working best for this project because you need the paper mache pulp to be a little bit thicker to be able to hold on to the vertical sides of the cocktail table. So try using a ratio of four cups of warm water to four cups of paper pulp. And that should create a pretty thick oatmeal consistency and make sure to add a couple squirts of your regular household white glue to add to the durability and so far it's worked out pretty well.
luck, as luck would have it, it's taking a little longer for the paper mache cocktail table to dry. There's just weird humidity in the air. So I've got it on a heat space heater and I've got a little circulating fan going to help it dry. So as soon as it's dried, I will promise you that I will show you a reveal in the next episode. So consider this part one and on part two, I'll reveal it as soon as the cocktail table is done. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Okay, thanks, bye.